Students who only had 15 minutes to eat lunch are being given a little bit more time to eat. But parents say it's still not enough. Since the beginning of the month, we've been following a pilot program at Pahoa High and Intermediate School on the Big Island. Lunch for intermediate students starts just after 10 a.m., and they have 15 minutes to eat. Parents reached out to us through Report It after they felt their concerns were not being addressed by the school. After multiple requests, Alexander Zanes finally spoke with the principal and got answers as to why she made the changes and if she thinks it's working. Alexander? Yeah, Joe, the principal tells me that earlier and shortened lunchtime is working, but an online petition with hundreds of signatures says otherwise. The principal acknowledged at least seven parents called her with questions, so students were given an extra five minutes to eat. But many parents say that still isn't enough time. In just two days, a petition directed toward Pahoa High and Intermediate School administrators has gotten well over 300 signatures. The goal, to give children in all grades 30 minutes to eat lunch. That just shows right there that there's other parents or even community members that are concerned that our children are only having 20 minutes to eat. The school's principal tells me part of the reason for the change is student safety, with high school and intermediate school students getting into fights. That prompted the administration to move intermediate lunch to start at 10.05 a.m. Intermediate students had 15 minutes to finish their meal, a decision the school's principal stands behind. We had an incident in the cafeteria as well. So it's all about safety, all about feedback from the students, and all about the students get their lunches in a timely manner so all of them could eat. After one parent continued to push the school for more time, another five minutes was added to the early lunch period, bringing it to 20. But the parent who started the petition says it's clear that's not enough. I know from just reading the comments on the petition, you know, they, a lot of parents e even feel 30 minutes is not enough. But 30 minutes, at least at a minimum, should be sufficient enough for the kids to eat lunch. Even more parents reached out to us after our last story aired. It's just not fair because... It's first recess to me for time to unwind or have a snack or, you know, not have 30 minutes to hurry up and eat and get back to class. The school's principal maintains students do have enough time to eat. There have been multiple parents that have reached out to us telling us stories of their kids not having enough time to eat lunch and coming home still hungry because of a lunch period is so early and also students that haven't had time to eat lunch in that short amount of time. Have you heard any of these stories from these parents? Uh, none at all. Uh, like I said, only seven parents called us. Um, none with that kind of concern, only how the program worked. They wanted more clarity on that. Um, no child has been turned away from lunch. Um, every child had time to eat their lunch. As far as the lunch period itself, um, where, did you consult with any uh, nutritional professionals or any child nutrition experts before changing the uh, the lunch period to that 10 a.m. time with, with 20 minutes to eat? So I, I didn't. I did not. But what I did observe is that students uh, finish their, their meals in a timely manner. Um, if they needed additional time at, at the end of that period, uh, we'd provide it to them, but no one needed it or asked for it. But with hundreds of signatures on the petition she started to give students more time, Melissa is hoping the school will listen. If you're a parent and you have a valid concern about the lunch program that is currently going on, call Principal B and let her know because as of right now, it doesn't seem like, you know, it's getting to her that there is a valid concern out there and um, she needs to know. And the school's principal says the early lunch could still change. I also asked when teachers eat and how long they have. I'm told teachers eat at the same time as high school students, 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m., and it's in their contract to get 30 minutes. Joe? All right, thanks, Alexander. Apparently what's good for the goose, not the same for the gander. Again, we heard about this issue first through Report It. If you have a news tip or see something newsworthy, report it at KHON2.com or through the KHON2 mobile app.